this is probably not going to be a high effort video, but the cubes in question are definitely very high effort to make. I'm just going to be talking about a few attempts I made at testing the boundaries of UV coating a cube. So first, what do I use to UV coat? I just followed the recommendation of Maru Cube and Okra Fyodorova. This is a nail polish top coat. And then of course, a UV lamp, which I don't have a set definition for how long I expose the UV gel to lights, but generally I think 5 minutes is a good guideline. I also have a box of pins that I originally got this for a different purpose to like try to make metal corner stocks to make a proportional 7x7 with like super thin corner stocks but metal but in the end I didn't go ahead with the project but the pins came in very handy to separate the layers like this when I applied the UV coat. For the Ultra WRM is the number one cube that I want to have a UV coated version of. I do not want to risk the WCA legality of my main cube off my main event. So I just started small with the Tzu 4x4 which is a cube that is glossy to begin with but like yeah it was quite nice. But later on, however, I just decided to target an actual big cube, which also happens to be frosted by default, and that's the Chi 9x9. So this is what it, it looks like. Turns out a bigger cube is arguably easier than UV coat, because the pieces are smaller, and one of the bigger challenges of UV coating is that after you brush the gel over the surface of the cube, you need to wait for a very long time for the gel to settle into a flat surface and if you make any slight disturbance such as accidentally touching it and leaving behind fingerprints you would have to repair the damage most of the time with adding more gel or like rebrushing it and you will have to start the whole waiting for it to settle process all over again and with smaller pieces than what you can find on a 3x3 or 4x4 it definitely takes a bit less time. With so many of them, even though there are a bit of imperfections here and there, it's just harder to notice unless you specifically want to focus your attention on one piece and like realize this is bulging or this has a dot here and so on. Like if you if you have very few pieces, it's more it's gonna be more obvious. Of course you can argue the other way because it's a big cube after all. So yeah. Overall I'm still pretty happy with this UV coated 9x9 and at least I have one less frosted cube in my collection. Uh, so here is a shine comparison. First, the Ultra WRM. This thing is basically frosted. Next, just a random cube that came like glossy by default from the factory. Then the Supernova PVC Melong 5x5 and the UV coat is shinier than the PVC coat. Finally, the Huameng YS3M which is also UV coated. This one is from the factory. I would say they are equally shiny but of course being made in the factory they managed to put out a much more uniform consistency with much fewer imperfections than my own UV coats. Other than big cubes, I also sought to answer one other question. Can you UV coat over a stickered cube to the point where it starts to feel stickerless to touch? So for this, I coated one of my old Meilong 4x4s. This is not my main Meilong 4. This one is a factory magnetic Meilong 4. This cube came non-magnetic when I got it. Put in my own magnets which are much stronger than what are in the factory version. And after UV coating this thing, I would say the answer to that big question is, is a partial yes. So the centers can actually be totally covered by the UV gel and they feel almost identical to a stickerless cube. But for the corners and edges, it's quite difficult to get the gel to settle over the edge. So when doing finger trips like this, I can still feel a little bit of the stickers. And actually the stickers do feel a bit thicker but at the same time they also feel significantly harder and stronger so i do think like durability issues such as sticker chipping are likely to be reduced although this is just theory at best because i've yet to use this cube a lot to the point where like uh, a normal stickered cube would have chipped because at this point i pretty much don't even use a stickered cube anymore and if i were to train 4x4 i would probably just use my regular meilong or my also well, i wouldn't be using a stickered cube. So yeah, it's unlikely that this cube is going to be put under that much durability testing. However, I do think the most useful application of UV coating over stickers is to immortalize the logo sticker. You don't have to do the whole cube, you can just do one center cap. And I think the best example of that is my Yihu Mega Minx. The logo sticker is pretty much almost feels as if it's just part of the piece. It feels like there's no no sticker there, the whole thing is just one single piece. I can't guarantee that every attempt to UV coat over stickers is this nice, it's just that I think this one just happens to be one of the better ones I've done. 
I've done a few where there are a bit more imperfections. 